When I was first coaching, it was a challenge. I mean, you learn on the fly a lot of times. And I learned to grow both as a coach, but also as a person too. And I found out that it wasn't always about the winning and the losing. It was about the, the way you dealt with the people that you were working with. When I was a high school athlete in the 1970s, you played three sports, so I played baseball, soccer, and basketball. It taught me time management, particularly when I got to college, because managing classes and playing athletically and things like that were the most important things to me. Otherwise, I tended to be undisciplined sometimes and kind of go off tangent, but when you had to be at a certain place, and that's what athletics teach you. I'm in my 40th year of coaching soccer. I was at Brunswick High School for 35 years, and I was hired to bring the program back in 1980, and uh, my goal there was to develop a program that was competitive in the county, and I was fortunate enough, obviously I won two state championships there while in 1990, and in 2014, my very last year, my last game, was winning a state championship. I think that athletics are an important and viable part of the educational process. I hope they continue that uh, because it builds not only athletic skill, but also you know, the behavioral part of your life. I told my players that you owe the sport more than the sport owed you.